Action! Action! Hey guys, here we are. Um, we're gonna go do a quick walk around video with it. Um, and then we're gonna cut the cab off of this thing and uh, get a little bit better look at it. But, uh, how Aww. deep do we go? Like, how, how in depth do we go? Okay, we were pit maneuver right about in this section. It broke part of the suspension, um, broke the wheel, the broke the wheel of the center off the wheels and the trailer and stuff like that. We can show that stuff later. Came in here and smashed us right about in yay. This area, like somewhere in between here and here. And then I went for a tumble. Uh, thankfully, Eric Carnes, um, he made us a wing and I firmly believe that that wing saved us from like some really, really bad stuff. Not that the wing did anything but like acting like a wing in that circumstances, but the spill panels I made were 26 inches long and I might have helped keep that car somewhat straight before it started rolling. But um, we disassembled all these bars, but these bars were still all assembled up here. And uh, I think it helped keep the car from completely rolling and stuff like that. Um, not I take that back. We rolled like probably three or four times. It kept it from being worse. Than but I think it kept it from being way worse than what it could have been. Unfortunately enough, um, yes, we do have, you can see the weight that we have in the back of the car for this no prep stuff. Um, none of that stuff moved. Um, the way I did the, the weights on this car, all these weights, um, I did it so the weights actually press up against the frame. And then um, it's uh, the, uh, the normal uh, nuts for it. And then we put these things on here for a security feature. And uh, I put a, a taper on that thing. And we actually kind of threaded them in on the threads. And then we locked them down once um, this outer piece was uh, butted up against the front one uh, tightly. So, uh, yeah. Um, broke off the turbo. Front suspension's hey, all junk. Walk around. Where am I walking? Okay. Wherever so, you're talking all about. All this stuff is junk we don't know if the chassis is completely junk or not um fortunately enough we'll, we'll take the body off and we'll do a little more of a video but there is not <coughs> as of now we don't see any <coughs> bars that are visibly bent or cracked or welds that are cracked besides the header um no structural frame damage. yeah no real structural frame damage at this point um, I'm not saying there isn't any, but once I get the bed off and I can string it all up, um, I wrote down quite a few of these measurements in my little book and stuff like that, so we can verify that. And just like uh, just like the square, if point A and point B, like the opposite sides are the same measurement, it's square. I don't care. That's how they used to build buildings back before they had all digital stuff. So um, maybe now that some of the tallest tall, some of the tallest uh, skyscrapers were built were built like before all these laser finders and all that crap, so. Maybe now that half a degree you were off on one of the bars will be straight. It wasn't a half a degree, it was point two <laughs> of one degree, mother. I almost finished oh my, my sentence, but I didn't. I'll do the next one. I think a man on his desk. We're looking at the good. She went there. It was you off point should, two. You of should one put a degree. ring on that. This is as good as it gets. You know that's like an eighth inch off over like twenty feet, and there's not one twenty foot bar in this damn car. I know. You're gonna bump my, you're just are you really bump my balls over point two of one degree on one freaking bar. You're real. You're a real wiener head. All right. You're a hot dog head. Okay. Um, Hang on. Let me get on the other side. Press all this up and rip the turbo up. So we're gonna have to send these back to Borg Warner and get these assessed. Um, that, that's all damaged. Um, WAC Customs has the measurement um, for the drop axle. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any six inch blanks right now, but the way I built the suspension, um, he's got four inch blanks, so it'll change the car the right height two inches. This is talking about if the chassis is possibly savable. Um, anti roll bar and all that stuff, it broke the bolts off, but like broke the uh, adjustments off, but like, you know, it all rotates and everything like that still, so. That's, and that's not bent. Um, we're dealers for Willwood disc brakes and stuff like that. But uh, that stuff, we're gonna have to order up some new stuff because that's all got bent. And that's just not worth taking the chance. So we're gonna have to order up a new front and rear brakes for it, at least. 
this is talking if the chassis is savable. If the chassis is not savable, well, I'm gonna start completely over. Um, the steering and everything still works. Um, nothing broke there. Um, that's all stuff I built myself. Um, the flaming river rack and everything like that, that survived. Um, the way I did the cage and everything in here, none of these bars are bent or like, I mean, we went for a tumble guys. Like um, the video is pretty unclear, but it rolled three or it rolled pretty good. Um, luckily the way I built the car and everything like that, like the seat and everything like that, like it don't really move. And then when I strap into the car, um, I'm firm and tight in there. Like, um, unfortunately, uh, the seat strapped to the roll cage. Yeah, the, the, as tight as it could be. Yeah, the, I did the bar so the bars literally run along the back, parallel with the back of the seat. So like the seats at like whatever it is, let's say an 18 degree layback, those bars at, are at 18 degrees, so they run parallel with it. So when I strap in, not only is the seat fastened to the cage, but my body holds the seat against the cage to keep everything nice and uh, stable in there. Um, and as far as um, what else? I don't know. Nothing really. I don't know. That old stuff looks decent. Like, there's nothing visibly wrong there. Uh, thank you to Race Quip. I need to go order up a new helmet. Um, I talked to Fred today. He's going to uh, give me some one sent out. Um, yeah, that was a pretty bad one. So, uh, where else? Are you thinking about. I don't think I'll leave that there. Let's cut it right at the cab. Look at the cut. Right, right at the top there. Cut that right there. I'm gonna take that whole bedside off. Make sure you're not getting it.